and welcome to Trisha's Cards and Crafts. Um, this is the last for this year in my series of Simple to Stepped Up on Sundays and these are the two cards that I've made for today. I know they look a little bit um, plain, <laughs> ordinary, but I put the colour on the inside because I want to get rid of 2020 and welcome in 2021. So this is the simple card that we're going to make today and this one is the stepped up version. So again, I've done the same sort of thing on the inside as well. Okay, I've also decorated the envelopes and I've done the same thing with this one as well. Okay, and I'll explain a bit more about the other, <coughs> the stepped up version in a moment. The two stamp sets I'm using are zany zebras i've been i love this set it's, i think it's so cute um i've used quite a few of the um sentiments of that and i've also used the hat now i'm not going to uh, that's if i can find it again i'm not going to show you if i can if i can find it um the, at the hat that i've made um but i will explain how i did it okay um, right, here's the card. Oh, and the other set I've used are, is from the family party, and I've used the numbers and the stars from that. Okay. <laughs> I did have a hat. I'm sure we'll find it anyway. Right. So, I'm not going to use the envelope for now. Or I could do the envelope first. Won't hurt. So I'm using so sa oh there's the little hat. <laughs> so saffron for the stars. Um, one in the corner there, and then on the back of the envelope. One, two, and then just turn it upside down for the middle of them. Three. So that's that bit done. And then for the ones, the small ones I've used, these are from the Zany Zebras. There we go. And then one in each corner. Hopefully you can see all of that. Okay, so there's small ones in the corners and a big one at the top and those on the back. Okay, so that's my envelope done. Now, for the front of the card, I've got the zebra that's kicking up his heels. I'm just going to put this away because the rest of it's all going to be in with my black ink pad. And I'm just going to use this little sort of piece of grass just down here for him to stand on. And I find it easier when it's especially when they're bigger ones to take the stamp pad to the stamp and then I'm gonna stamp him on the grass kicking up away away from him with there we go and then we're gonna put 2020 now I've got these mounted on small blocks and I must make sure that I use them in the right order. <laughs> um, there it is. I couldn't see it anywhere there. Right, so zero first. And I'm not putting them um, straight. I'm trying to make sure that they look as though they're flying a bit. In kick up your heels there we go I'm putting that above there we go C 
So there's the front of the card. Now for the inside, I'm going to, don't need that now, put on. Now, for the happy, I've used, <laughs> I did use a piece of post-it note. You could use some sellotape or whatever you've got handy just to cover up the birthday because I'm using the happy birthday sentiment but I don't want birthday I only want the happy because I'm going to say happy 2021 because I haven't got a happy new year stamp so instead of putting happy new year I'm putting happy 2021 so while I'm inking the happy up I'm keeping the birthday covered so there we go I'll take the post-it note off then and then I haven't got any of the birthday inked up at least I shouldn't. I could have used a pen to do it instead, but here we go. Here's hoping. There we go. So I've got happy. And we're going to put 2021 now. So we need the twos again. Two. I'm not very good at getting things straight, so if my head goes in the way, I'm sorry. 20. So that's that one and then we're going to put the other whoops the other zebra looking up at it so put him on next then time to celebrate it's time to celebrate hopefully because it's 2021 instead of 2020 and hopefully it's going to be a better year for all of us and then that's okay so then that and that and that and the stars now on the inside so I will need that again. And what I did, I stamped out, there's a little hat stamp that goes with the set. Um, and I've stamped that onto a piece of scrap paper or scrap card. Um, and then I cut them out. I, I coloured them in and then I cut them out. So they're going to go, it's going to go on top. But because I would have had to mask it otherwise and it makes things very difficult. So... I thought it easier if I just left it. Hang on, I'll just do this. I forgot to do the grass. There we go. So that's that bit done. Black all over me again. Right. So I can take that little bit off so I can see what I'm doing. And use the so saffron to do my stars so I'm going to put some there some over here and one underneath and then I'll just fill in with these smaller stars
There we go. I think we've got enough stars for now. There we go. So those are all the stars. And then what I did, I just used some of these markers, the um, Stampin' Right marker pens, um, to colour in the stripes, just to make it look a little more funky and colourful. And I've used, this is um, mm -hmm. Pear Pizzazz, this is Powder Pink, Mango Melody, Then I've used Daffodil Delight for the yellow. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're not. And then for the last one, the blue, I've used the uh, Balmy Blue. and vibrant the colours that there we go and there we have it except for the little hat and I'm just using a little bit of Tombow to stick the hat on with don't need much at all I use the same colours to colour the hat in just put that on there we go so there's the inside of the card and the outside just use my bone folder up there and our envelope which is done as well okay so it looks a bit boring on the outside but we're kicking away 2020 and inside it's a bit more bright and breezy okay so a bit more fun um the other thing i did do on the others. I used the black um, stamp and write marker and I just did some little light sort of speech marks almost just to make it look as if to make it look as if it's moving a bit more. Okay so that's all I did with that. The reason on this card <laughs> there's a little um, line around it. When I stamped the kick up your heels it left a little bit of a mark so I used my black marker pen just to slightly make it more of an outline and then I stuck the stars on around it just to make it look a bit better so that's the reason that one's a bit different um, but other than that they're the same okay so those are those two cards so that's the simple versions and then for the stepped up version I just put some gold foil card um, behind the um, top layer and again left it black I didn't want to I I didn't want to make it look bright and breezy because I didn't feel that 2020 has been that bright and breezy for most people um, but I wanted to make the inside a bit more so what I've used I used a wink of Stella but I didn't feel it was enough so then I went over and I used my quickie glue pen but if you've got a fine tip um, glue pen that would be great <clears throat> and I just added some glue in different places just to make it and then I added some glitter that I had it's um this one is a retired stamping up the dazzling diamonds and that's what I used to just jazz it up a little bit to make it sparkle a bit more okay so those are the two cards for today i hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll have a lovely happy new year have a lovely christmas and hopefully you'll have a lovely new year as well and i'll hopefully see you next year good luck bye